Check this thing out. Mojo tie. Titanium. It's pretty well ridden. Hand job cable stop. Sweet. Today's an exciting day. Heading down to Everett. I found a Mojo tie frame for sale from 1995. Vintage bikes. Oh my goodness. Got the money. The destination is on your right. Jeff. Eric. Nice to meet you. Check this thing out. <laughs> the videos are so. so this is a 90s. Well, cool. Thanks Stash again. All this stuff. Nice to meet you, Eric. I was lucky enough to find this thing on Craigslist a few weeks ago, and it's kind of a dream to put it together. I got this package in the mail from Paul Components, and I think this is gonna have some of the key parts to get this bike together. Neo Retro cantilever brakes. Yes! Front skewer, rear skewer. A rad stem that's gonna match all these sweet parts. Let's start putting this bike together. I think we'll start with the headset. This is a classic Chris King threadless headset that I got for my BMX bike in 1999. And I found conflicting info if I should use grease or titanium anti-seize. I think I'll just go ahead and use titanium anti-seize. Oh, it's a 23 year old frame and I hope the headset goes in smooth. Boom, seated. So smooth. I like to do one headset at a time. That minimizes the chances that things will slip out of being straight. I was lucky enough to come across some 1996 Marzocchi Z2 Bomber forks. And for these forks, I still have an inch and an eighth Chris King crown race in great shape, ready to go on here. This is gonna require grease, a crown race setter tool, and a big hammer. Yew! Let's do this. Let's get this Paul Components boxcar stem out. So shiny. This thing's sweet. As I get further into this bike build, I wanna incorporate some modern parts that'll allow me to ride this thing kinda how I like to ride, but kinda sorta maintain a little bit of semblance of time period correct. I normally use PNW Components range handlebars. I love them, they're comfortable, the price point's great, and I'm happy to support those. For this build though, I found these in my archives. Pro Tapers. When I started riding mountain bikes right around this vintage, I think in 98 the Pro Taper bar came out and I remember getting a pair and it opened my eyes to what was possible with a wider handlebar. This pewter color is gonna look sweet on the tie frame. Let's get the decals off with some paint stripper and get it on the frame. Just turns out I have a brush that's been hanging out in paint thinner, so well, let's try and use that. This is gonna be more difficult than I was anticipating. I think this is about as clean as these handlebars are gonna get, so I'm excited to mount them up on the bike and see what this thing's gonna look like. Let's do it. This whole build's kind of a dream come true. As a kid, I was growing up in this era starting to ride mountain bikes. I didn't have anything nearly as nice as this. This is kind of my dream bike as a child. Paul Components helped me out a ton with this build, so thank you, Paul, I appreciate it. All right. Starting to get some parts on these bars. I want to use some original trail grips from WTV. I don't have them yet, so for now I'll just use some technical trail clamp-ons, my favorite grips. Most of the parts on this bike are time period correct, but I'm considering using a little bit bigger tire just so I can push this thing a little bit harder. I would love to use a Trail Boss 2.25. I don't know if that's gonna fit. I have a Wolverine 2.2 right here, so let's see if that will fit in this thing. There's a lot less clearance on this 1995 frame than say a frame would have from the mid 2000s or even today for that matter. We've got massive tire rub. The 2.2 is way too big for this frame. I might need to look around and find a 2.1 or maybe even a 2.0 to run on here. Wasn't anticipating that roadblock. That's all we've got time for today. Stay tuned for the next episode where we're gonna try to finish this bike and get it rideable. If you like this video, definitely click that subscribe button, but more importantly, share it to Facebook. Maybe some of your other vintage bike riding buddies will get a kick out of it. Stay tuned for more.